Miliband, of course, used his conference speech to position himself further to the left of politics, uh, people say. But uh, did you see how he appears to be growing his own Michael Goves? And you can see <laughs> sort of... <laughs> it's like a gove farm. And on the, on the right, that's a sort of young beginner gove. And then so slightly when... more mature, further to the left. And then the one, the one on the left of the picture, that's nearly finished. <laughs> It actually looks like the world's dullest boy band, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> no direction. <laughs> and finally, would, would, any, would anyone like to see the chat-up technique of Danny Fancy a Brandy Alexander? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just, this conference has been so busy, so I've yeah. had so many things to do. So I haven't been up, uh, haven't been up late... Um, Relaxing in the bar, so I'm, I'm that, that's not a That'll problem. That'll come on Wednesday, maybe. Maybe, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight, good. <laughs> How about you? Um... <laughs> yes, this is the Labour Party conference and the Daily Mail's character assassination of Marxist historian Ralph Miliband, who they described as the man who hated Britain. For legal reasons, we can't make any derogatory comments about Daily Mail editor Paul Dacre, but apparently his dad's an asshole. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> was an asshole. <laughs>